Hey YouTube, it's Mountain Olympus Reptiles, and today we're still going to continue our business series. We're going to be talking about the most important part of a business. Well, in a reptile business, it's really well, in a snake business, it's really two things. Snakes and dollar dollar bills, y'all. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about. You see I snatched that out the air? Yeah. I can tie a string on this, take it to clubs. No, I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> we're going to be talking about snakes and money and i think this is a very important topic because in the reptile business what you're really going to do is we're going to take things like these right i mean this is the goal of the business we're going to take these guys here and we're going to turn them into that there that's the goal so we're going to take snakes turn it into money pretty simple concept we're going to do that by selling snakes so everybody understands that you know no problems put you back in there we put you back up there we go so let's say for argument's sake that you've already you know done all that you've made your first you've done your marketing you made your first few clutches and now you're making you're making money how are we going to manage this pile of money well you got a couple ways one is this is a way novices do it they take it money managed problem solved no money there let me tell you there's a problem don't do that shit this is how you fail. You will, unless you have an ass load of money from another source. And hey man, look, if you do, if you've got some other businesses you've got that make a lot of money, or you've got a great at job that makes a lot of money, and you've got spare money that you don't care about, then by all means, do that. Or maybe, maybe you're a trust fund baby. And dude, if you're a trust fund baby, man, I wish I had your life. Congratulations, you won the lottery. Take that stick in your pocket, I don't really care. But if you're like me, and you're trying to really grow this and you want this to be something, what I just did is a terrible way to manage your money, especially since some of that I just stole from Kurt. Uh, and Kurt, I wanted up your money. You cool with that? No. I need to iron it back out. Make it crisp. Uh, here's the thing. So let's say you got money. I don't know how much money we really got up here, but the point of this is... 140. Well, okay, if you're going to be all exact. You sold some snakes. Now, I'm going to tell you how I manage that money. Now, this is not going to be exact math. So nobody go, well, it didn't cost that much. That's not the point of this. The point of this is just to show you what happens. So let's say we sold all of our snakes, and this is our money for the year. It's their money. It ain't yours, okay? When you sell snakes, I want you to think of that money as belonging to your snakes. That means you've got to be patient because you're not going to get paid, right? You're not, not right now. When you get to a certain point, you will, but it ain't today. So you put that money in their account. And now, oh man, you know what? There's a snake you need to buy for your projects. You had the money to do it. You had the money to do it. And yes, I know it costs more than 20 bucks. Just bear with me, it ain't about the numbers. Visual aids, guys, visual aids. You had the money to do it. So you got the new snake. Oh shit, you need some new equipment throughout the year because things are growing. Got that done, right? Oh man, you gotta feed those things. Shit, we needed some litter. We gotta travel the shows, right? And then we're ready to start over again. Look what's left. Now, end of the year, you've paid all your bills. Congratulations, you get a little money. You did a good job. Maybe in your first year, you don't. Maybe you're pulling more out of your pocket having to put on the table, but let's say you do get a little bit, that's great. If you get a little bit of money, that's awesome. I'm not begrudging you that. This isn't a video that's trying to try to make you feel bad about making a profit or feel bad about caring about the money or feel bad about running a business or say that, oh, if you care about the money, you're all about, that's not what this is about. What I'm talking about though is this is a famine feast business, especially when you're new. So when you're first starting out and you're running just a handful of clutches a year, you know, you're, you're gonna have a time, you're gonna sell these babies and money's gonna come in. But then throughout the year, you're going to have bills and you'll have people that'll tell you yeah i went to this show and i made four thousand dollars it's a pretty good show cool good for you yeah you know, i mean i made four thousand dollars last year selling ball pythons and i went out and bought fill in the blank but usually those people aren't really doing the math and you come back in a few years later like yeah i got out of it oh, this just wasn't working the reason it wasn't working is because they would take that four thousand dollars they'd put it in their bank account like they made that money but there's all these expenses in running things, whether it's your electric bill, whether it's your feed bill, whether it's a vet bill, whether it's adding animals, no matter what it may be. And if you let their money be theirs, 
okay? This is what I talk about. You don't want it to be a burden on your real life. If I put all that money in my pocket, well, not all of it. I'd have to, like, give Kurt his half. I'm just going to take the bigger half, Kurt. <laughs> I have to give Kurt his fine look at me like that make me feel bad i have to give kurt his half i take my half we just go blow it on some dumb shit i don't know we just go like to the club and make it rain whatever we want to do with it we're just blowing did it all fall down we'll have to find that we're just going through money uh then when the time comes that we need to buy something for a rat so we need to add more racks guess where we have to get that money we got to pass the hat between the two of us and we're done doing that we don't want to have to do that we want this to be self-sustaining so we let it be self-sustaining by letting the money belong to our business before it belongs to us. And then at the end of the year, if there's money left, then we can pay ourselves, leaving a still a nice nest egg of money in case something happens or in case we find something we want. Because one of the worst things when you're first starting out is you go somewhere and you see something you really want and you just don't have the cash to get it. You're like, oh man, some people pull out the credit card. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to try to go in debt on this, you know. Uh, so like, that's just me though. Now, by leaving that money in there all year, I'll give you a great example. We went to Florida. You guys know, you know, we bought a bunch of snakes in Florida. When I went, we had looked at our finances. Kurt had sent me with a budget we had agreed upon. So he couldn't go, this is what I'm going to spend. I had a list of shit I was looking for. And I found some things that weren't on my list, guys. I found some things not on my list. Oh my goodness, you're going, why did I use a small hook for you? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you'll still fit in there, kind of. Holy shit, Kurt. It's like going to break this hook. I found a few of these guys. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty, give me that back. This wasn't on my list, right? Wasn't there. So... And I also found an Xanthic pinstripe that wasn't on my list, uh, <laughs> a few other things. But we had the money to make that happen without it being a burden. So it's very important to budget your money, I think, by letting your business keep it until it's appropriate to take it out. If you take it out too early, you're going to be in a, in a problem. So the point I'm trying to make is snake money is snake money. Now, the next thing is accounting. So when it comes to accounting, what I started to do from the day one is I made a separate bank account. And when I would sell snakes or do something with snakes, that money would go into the snakes bank account all, every time. So like when we get paid by anywhere, it goes into our Olympus Reptiles account. It doesn't go into my personal account. It doesn't go into Kurt's personal account. Only time it goes into our personal account is we intend to pay ourselves. Then we pay ourselves and it comes out but they keep their own. Now, when we first started out, we didn't have an account or anything. We do now. We do plan on doing a video with our account and talking specifically about some tax stuff and about when to go legit and you know why you need to go legit and how not to end up uh, in prison, thanks to the IRS, where you could you know potentially come out and be able to poop in 2.5 seconds. That's not a good day. So we will be doing a video, hopefully with him after tax season. He can't be right now, the guy's a little busy, but we, we do plan on doing that. He's gonna talk more about that. But on our budget standpoint, it has its own bank account. It gets its own money. I think it is extremely important to manage that. When you're figuring out profits, okay, uh, profits come at the end of the year. Or for us, it's kind of right now. This is profit season. And what I mean is as we come into tax season, that's when we're going to close our accounts. And that's when Kurt and I will get paid whatever little bit we want to get paid. A lot of times we've foregone being paid and said, you know what? Let's not get paid. Let's buy this instead. Let's get this animal. Let's get these racks. Let's get this equipment. So we don't take a lot of money for ourselves because anything we take and put in our own pocket is things we can't then expand, right? We can't get new animals. We can't grow. By growing, we should have a higher income allowing us to reach our dreams at a faster pace than if we constantly wanted to put money in our pocket. So it's all going to be relative to what you want to do. Stop looking at me like I'm dinner. I'm not dinner. So that is one of the things I would say. Now, should you go legit? I'm going to answer that one, and I'll let our accountant talk more about it when we do his video. Yes, you absolutely should go legit. Here's why I personally believe that. At some point, for us, it was when we no longer were spending money, when we thought we might actually make money 
uh, even though we weren't really making as much as we thought we were going to make because we were spending it on, ooh, pretty, ooh, shiny, ooh, I want that snake, oh, let's get more racks. Oh, shit, now we're buying litter by the pallet, things like that that come up. Boxes of rats back in the day before we were breeding our own. We started breeding our own building rat racks. Just all kinds of stuff that comes up. But when we thought we'd have profits, we went ahead and went legit. It does a couple things. One, it helps keep you out of trouble. Again, the tax guy will cover that. But two, by forming an LLC, uh, it limits my liability. That's what LL stands for. Limited liability, the C stands for company, limited liability company or corporation or some shit like that. So you're going to limit some of your liability. I also think it just gives you, as a business, if you're a legit business and you, have, you can show you're an LLC or whatever you need to do, it just gives you a little more credibility. I think I'm more comfortable dealing with a business because I know they're still going to be there as opposed to some guy who's just doing it. But, oh, we're going to keep it under the table. If he's going to lie and keep it under the table, I think he's more apt to lie to me. Am I right? I mean, if he's going to lie and be shady with taxes and everything else, is he not more apt to lie to you as a customer? Ask yourself that. The guy is already telling you when you're, when you're trying to not be a legit business, not report things, you're trying to hide everything uh, because of a tax bill, which, by the way, your accountant can most likely fix 80 to 90% of that for you legally anyway on the up and up. Uh, you're, you're saying right there, speaking of being all about the money, you're simply saying right there that you literally are all about the money. You're saying, I will be dishonest in the name of profit. I will be dishonest in, in the name of making a little extra cash. Now, I'm not saying that you need to report every single penny that you ever earned mowing a lawn to the IRS. I don't really give a shit about that. I'm talking about being a legit business. I, I do think there is something for that. Uh, it's kind of like when you see a guy who's with a different name every time, like, oh, this reptile show, you know, his name is Billy Bob Reptiles. Two months later, you go to a reptile show, and now he's Bob Billy Reptiles. Three months later, you go to a reptile show, and now he's Jack Handy Reptiles. Saturday Night Live shout out. Old Saturday Night Live shout out. Because, <laughs> again, damn near 40. Uh, does that not give you pause? It's shady. Being a legit business makes you seem less shady. Even if you are, even if you are shady, it makes you seem less shady. But don't be shady unless you're slim. I'm not talking slim, talking slim shady. Uh, God damn, I'm, I'm hitting the call house today. We're getting Saturday Night Live. We're getting Eminem. It's just going crazy. So that is kind of where I feel about that. So keep track of your money. Don't get bit by your blood python. As a matter of fact, let's do it this way. See this blood python? He's a dick. So what we're going to do is you got to think of it like this. He gets to sit on your pile of money, okay? And if you want... Oh, I see you. If you want that money... Kurt, you want some money? Okay. Take it from the blood python, Kurt. That's what you got to... You want that money bad enough? This should be your accounting. Take it from a blood python. I'll step it one up. Let me throw red on there. And if you want that money, take it from her. Because that's who you're taking it from. When you put it in your pocket, you're putting your animal second to you, right? Because you were making your bills and paying your shit before you did this. If you used to pay for your animal's bills, you're putting them first. So let me put red up here. I'm not going to do that because it's dangerous. And take that money from her. Because that's really what, what you're doing. You're taking it from them. I know. You want to bite my face because you're an asshole blood python. I get it. I totally understand, but we're not going to do that today. All right, Kurt, any questions about money and reptiles? No. You going to take a 20? No. Come on, take a 20. Take a 20. Okay. I'll do it. Do I get to keep your 20 if I take it? Sure. Whew. Woo! <laughs> Actually... As long as you move real fast, you'll probably be okay. I'm going to get that one by her face, too. Oh, shit. Woohoo! I got Kurt's 40. All right, guys. <laughs> we better quit screwing with him now. He's pissed. <laughs> I'm going to put you back in, I promise. But again, that's about as visual as I can make it. You're robbing money from the blood python. Okay, we'll stop. You're angry. I see that now. Uh, <laughs> all right. Anything you want to add before I put this mean bastard up? Nope. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.